Hello everybody, this is Know Your Mac on YouTube.com and in this video I'm going to be talking about the Bool object and essentially what it lets you do is cut out parts of an object by using another object. So I know that might sound a little bit confusing but I'll give you a demonstration of what it actually does. So let's just say I want to start out by making a frame for whatever reason. So I just have a regular cube here, it's a very thin cube, and I want to basically cut out uh, most of it and just have a little outer area like a frame. So to do that, you kind of have to visualize it. So I'm going to do a copy and paste of this cube, and I'm just going to change the size of this. So I'll increase the, uh, the, the Z or no, the Y, uh, just so it gets a little bit thicker, so I can see it better. And then I'll decrease the height and the length. So now you can see that this center square is what's going to get cut out. And what we're going to be left with is just everything around it. So all we have to do is go into here and click on Bool and put both of these inside our Bool object. Uh, now, right now, it's not doing anything because I have them in the wrong order. So basically, the hierarchy goes that the um, the shape that you want to cut out has to be below the shape that is getting cut out of, if that makes any sense at all. So let me label this for you. So I'm going to label this one bigger, and this one is the cutout, so I'll name that, name that smaller. And the smaller one has to go below the bigger one. Now if we go ahead and look, we can see that we are left with just a frame. I can do a render of this and you can see that we have that nice little cutout. Now sometimes you might feel that you want to have multiple cutouts. So maybe it's a really fancy frame which has multiple sections for pictures. Well what you can actually do is create a group. So let's just say I'm going to scale this one down and bring this one up here and maybe I want to have another one down here so naturally you may think that you can just put two in the same bool object and just keep the bigger on top and it'll work fine but it'll only take one cutout so all we have to do is select both of the objects that we want to cut out and go into where is it uh, objects and group objects and now you can see that this entire group is being cut out of this bigger cube. So now that's basically how to use the bool object. It's very, very handy just because you're not actually editing any of these polygons at all. We can still just delete these cutouts and be left with the same object we had initially. So it's definitely very, very handy, and I hope you'll find a use for it in the future. Don't forget to subscribe for more Cinema 4D and Mac-related tutorials.